We do have a projected winner this morning in Michigan's third congressional district primary. That race was too close to call when you went to bed last night. Mm -hmm. Freshman Congressman Peter Meyer has lost his seat to Trump-backed challenger John Gibbs. We saw a surge of votes for Gibbs as that counting continued into the night and into this morning. So here's where the results stand now. 52% for John Gibbs, 48% for Peter Meyer. Um, we have all of the results in. Gibbs beat Meyer by close to nine points in Ottawa County and by seven points in Muskegon County. Now, tabulators in Kent County finished all the ballots early, finished counting all the ballots early this morning, but overnight, Meyer called Gibbs to concede the race. And Gabrielle Pfeiffer joins us uh, live now in Grand Rapids with his reaction. Gabrielle. Well, you know, there was a, a lot of interest in this race, one that uh, Gibbs says he has been confident about since the very start of it all. So he's feeling pretty great this morning. Um, he did mention that he did uh, hear from Meyer, who uh, he said, you know, uh, who told him that he congratulated him on this race. And, you know, he mentioned to me that, or he mentioned to us, Gibbs, that um, he had been campaigning and going door to door trying to, uh, get voters to support him and he mentioned that a lot of voters uh, did not really approve of him of Peter Meyer uh, voting to impeach President Donald Trump. Uh, now we know that Peter Meyer also put in a lot of money to this and so Gibbs said that money did not win this race. Here's more of what he had to say about that. Uh, so I really think this is an earthquake uh, if you look at the amount of money that was spent uh, relative to the amount of money we spent. It's huge differentials. Um, very asymmetric, so I think this is uh, uh, something that was in shockwaves in a good way throughout the nation, um, and it's something that will empower regular people to know that uh, you know they can stand up and make change when necessary. Meyer formally conceded the race around 1.30 this morning, publicly releasing a statement that read in part, I'm proud to have remained true to my principles, even when doing so came at a significant political cost. And I believe our community and our values are worth fighting for. Though this was not the outcome we hoped for, I will continue to do everything possible to move the Republican Party, West Michigan, and our country in a positive Positive direction. Now, former President Trump called Gibbs uh, last night to congratulate him. Again, as I said, Peter Meyer also reached out uh, uh, congratulating him as well and offering him support and advice. Uh, now, uh, Gibbs will face Democrat um, Hillary Schoolton um, in the general election coming up in November. Teresa Donovan, I'll send it back to you.